Hey guys, what it is? It's me again. Alan. You know, I had an idea how to start this off. I really did. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways. So this is going to be a kind of a different video. I know I say that like a lot because this channel is mainly supposed to be like a gaming channel. But... Anyways, the point of this is it, it's kind of like a vlog, but at the same time, not. What I plan on doing... What, just, hmm. what I plan on doing here is doing like a little rundown, showing you guys what kind of animals I have, and what pretty much what I know and can tell you about them. Some of them I own. I can... Uh, uh, I'm a good pet owner, I promise. In reality, I'm actually a really good pet owner, like if... You, if I took a video of what I did Sunday. <sighs> that, that took a lot out of me. But, um, so yeah, that's what I plan on doing here. I just plan on basically showing you what kind of animals I have, what I, and what I do with them, like... Basically, I'm just trying to show you what animals I have and trying to make a like a different kind of video. And um, gaming videos will be coming back up very shortly. So as soon as I find some time to do some more gaming videos, I'll do that. So um, yeah, let's get started. So I figured the first and easiest thing to do would be the fish tank, considering it's like right here. So um, yeah, let's do that. They're a bit scared right now because I was cleaning their tank. So a little bit shook up because I don't like the magnet. But um, and keep in mind, I don't remember a lot of these fish's actual like species name. I know that that's an angelfish. I don't remember what species. That's a species of origami fish. Again, I'm sorry, I don't remember. Um, I have a couple glowfish in here though. That's a glowfish. There's a green glowfish in here somewhere. Th that one, the one with the orange and black stripes, is a loach. And the smaller ones are guppies, we think. We're pretty sure these are guppies. The fish, the fish in there is a... Um, Rainbow shark, that's the word. Rainbow shark. I almost got another Renfid shark. And no, before anybody asks, these are, this is a freshwater tank if you can't really tell. But this is freshwater and we have a bristle-nosed um, sucker fish in there somewhere. He's hiding. He's always hiding. That's why I named him Camo. And him, the sucker fish and the origami fish. All I've had for many years. These got the rest of them I've had for maybe about a year now. So um let's move to the next one. Move to the next environment. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, I have a dog. This is my dog. Her name is Zoe. She's pure evil. Kidding, I love her. But um She's a very good dog. She's two years old. She'd be turning three here in May. Yeah, you like your chin scratches, don't you? She's a good dog. <laughs> Silly. Silly. Silly, Jojo. Silly. But, um, she's Chihuahua and Jack Russell. And, like, a lot of people have asked and probably will still ask, sorry about that, and ask if she's Pitbull, um, Boxer, Lab, what's your other one? Rottweiler? Yeah, Rottweiler. I've gotten that before. Um, no. At least we're pretty sure she's not. We don't know why she has the brindle in color like she does. Because brindle isn't found in either one of her species. 
like dog species that loaded on her birth bill thing. I don't know. But um yeah, she's a Chihuahua and Jack Russell. Good dog. He's a good girl. Good girl. Zoe, that's a plane, not a truck. No one's home. Silly. Silly. Don't you look at me like that. <laughs> oh, so, so. Anyways. On to the next animal. Alright, and here is the animal that I pretty much call my son. His name is Spike. He's a red-eared slider. I've had him for about... Ten, ten, about 10 years now? Yeah, yeah, 10... No. Yeah, 10 years. Damn. He's like my son. I love him. He loves me. I have no idea how you already semi-dirtied your tank. I literally just cleaned your tank yesterday. But, um... I actually don't know how old he is. He was, he was a little bit smaller than this when I got him about 10 years ago. But, um... And really, I have no idea how old his actual age is. I would say that he's a probably around the same age as me, and they can live up to 30, 32, 35 years. So me and him are going to be together for a while. Me, I love this turtle. He's a good turtle. And I'm not going to take him out of his tank because he prefers not. Like, he'll, if I took him out of the tank, he'll run around and try and hide like a normal turtle would. But he really does not li like, he'll semi-play, but like, he really does not like being handled. Like, he does not be like being picked up at all. He hates it. Like, I mean, he doesn't hate it, he tolerates it. But I'm not gonna really make him do anything he doesn't want to do, you know? But, um, that's my red-eared slider. Plan I'm trying to get him a bigger tank here soon. It's a pretty big tank. Like, he has a lot of room in here, but, you know. Yeah. So, yeah, that's my red-eared slider, Spike. And, fair warning, I have five reptiles in my room, so this, this is going to be fun. He's number one. Is this upside down? Will this be upside down when I do this? Because I change it to a different angle so I can do this better. Is this zoomed in? No, it's not zoomed in. Sorry. But um, for those of you who follow me on Snapchat, you already know what this is. This is Fauna. And this is a giant-ass fucking hawk moth. I didn't see before I opened the cage door, and it scared me. It's okay. You're going to let me take you out? It's okay. Okay, good girl. Oh, you're a bit, you're a bit chilly. Did you expect that? I just got home. But um, this is Fauna. She's an Indonesian frill dragon. She's about three years old now. I bought her from White Hot Ken, who used to run White Hot Dragons down here in Saint Petersburg. Thank you so much, Ken. Um, I appreciate it. I love her so much. She's a beautiful, beautiful lizard. She's about two feet long now. She's about the, she's longer than my arm. And I'd love to show you guys it, but I don't really, well, uh, my form. I don't know how I'd really show you guys that, to be honest. And my phone doesn't have a stand because the stand on my phone broke. I am not focusing on Fauna. But, um, this is Fauna. She's a good lizard. I love her. Indonesian throw dragon. They can live up to 15 to 20 years. So this is another reptile that's going to be with me for a long, long time. And I've had her since the summer. Yeah, the summer. I've had her since the summer. Her and Zoe. They, they get, they tolerate each other. But, um, so this is Fauna. She's my Indonesian frill dragon. And before anybody asks, cause I was, when I say Indonesian frill dragon, for those of you who don't know what lizard this is, it is the lizard that 
was that looks like the one from the dinosaur from Jurassic Park. I get that a lot. Believe it or not. Oh, what are you doing? You gonna climb? All right. But um, she's the lizard that inspired the Dilophosaurus that had the, the dinosaur that had the frill in Jurassic Park, and she doesn't want to be in the camera line anymore. So um, next reptile. All right. So this next one's gonna be a little bit difficult to do because I got two baby turtles in here. And they don't like really being handled, but they're a lot more taller. But why didn't I just do this when the camera was off? They're a lot more handled. Like, they're a little taller being handled more than Spike will because they're so young. So I'm going to get Snappy first. That's not Snappy. There he is. Hi, Snappy. Come here. So yeah, this is Snappy. I've had him for three years and still have no idea what species of turtle he is. Your water is fucking freezing. I tried so hard not to cuss in this video. I really did. But um, I've had him for three years. The camera will focus. There we go. I don't know what species he is. I've, I, I, think, I honestly think he's like a hybrid turtle of some sort like he's a mixture of something to more than one turtle because okay i thought my camera was going to cut off there i don't know why i did that jump i need to clean your shell really bad but um his shell i don't know like i don't really know what kind of shell it looks like i forget the name of the turtle that it looks like but his head and neck look like a snapping turtle and he acts like a snapping turtle all right he has the le neck length of a snapping turtle Okay, that's Snappy. There he goes. And this tank is a pretty good size for them both. And then I'm going to get Fesfoderma. Hello, who's like almost twice the sorry, almost like twice the size of Snappy now, and at least twice the heft. He's fat. He eats Snappy's food a lot. But um, this is Fesfoderma. Ah, oh, my neck itch is so bad right now. But, um, yeah, this is, I almost called him Snappy. This is Vesvoderma. And, um, the reason why he's named Vesvoderma is I named him after a prehistoric turtle that lived millions of years ago. And he's a, I think he's actually a mixture of, um, yellow and red or because, like, he, ha he looks like both. And... He has, like, the coloring of both, like, oh, there went Snappy in the background. Okay. But, um, no, hold on. Just so they can see here. There we go. All right, you can go back now. But, um, I've had him, I've had Fesfoderma for about, <sighs> year and a half now. I've had some Fesfoderma for about a year and a half. But, um, and the reason why the water is cold is because I don't like, in front of it's a bit cold and the spot's probably going to be a bit cold. Because I don't leave their lights on when I'm not. Okay, okay, sorry about that, guys. I had to clear up some space on my camera. But like I was saying, like, I don't leave any lights on when I'm not home. Like, I turn them all off in the morning. They're off in, at night when I'm sleeping, except for fun and spot. And that's only because they're night lights. That's literally the purpose. The only reason why I have lights on at home when I'm not home. But, um, yeah, so next animal. Okay, so this is another species of origami fish. Um, the reason why they're, uh, this fish is in this tank is because this fish is an asshole. He's literally bitten off the fins. Off the other fish in the other tank. So, he, this fish lives in here. And the only reason why this fish lives in... That, no, yeah, that, there's no explanation. That is why this fish lives in here. In this smaller tank. Because it has literally bitten off the other... Like, the pieces of fin and tail of the other fish in the other tank. So, we had to move it. So, um... Yeah. That's pretty much all to say about this fish. Next animal. Alright, and here is the final animal. This is Spot, my fan... I believe this is actually a fancy bearded dragon. I don't know, because it's not... doesn't have the reg... 
regular coloration of a, I almost knocked that frame over. Regular coloration of a regular bearded dragon. So I think that this is a um, fancy bearded dragon. And um, I've had him for about almost a month. Yeah, about a month now. I've had Spot. I bought him. F I like to think I rescued him. Because, for one, I bought him from PetSmart. And two, you can see here. It's okay. I'm not going to mess with your tail that much. I promise. It's okay. As you can see, Spot, it's okay. Okay, I won't touch your tail. I won't touch your tail. Won't grab your tail. That... That tail is supposed to be a lot longer. It's supposed to be almost twice that length. It's supposed to look like it. It's supposed to be longer than that. It's supposed to be a, almost twice as long as that. But, um. It's not. I don't know what caused it. But, um. I bought him from PetSmart, and when I brought my dad there, he's the guy that we bought him from. And we're talking to him. Yeah, I'm talking about you. <laughs> love it when they make that face. But, um, looking at the camera spot, yeah, you look. <laughs> Silly little dragon. But, um, the guy, the one, one of the workers at PetSmart said that, um, he'd actually been, Spot had been in there for a while. And he was the only baby bearded dragon left. And my dad kind of felt bad. So he let me buy him. And the legacy of Spot has been born. Well, not born, you get it. And yes, I know it's a little bit uncreative. The reason why his name is Spot, well, its name is Spot, is because of the spots on his neck and on his belly and neck. That's why its name is Spot. There you go. But, um, is that everyone? That's everyone. Yeah, that concludes that. You know, lick my finger? You know, give me kisses? Okay. But, um, yeah, that pretty much concludes the video. this video. Did you just fart, Zoe? Nasty. But, um... That pretty much concludes the... Uh, oh, thank you. That's what... Geez, fuck. That pretty much concludes it for this video, guys. That's all the animals. So... So one more thing. I know I didn't really talk about, like, what they eat and all that. So what I'm thinking about doing is making this, like, a one-barter. And, like, talking about, like, weather from... Well, not weather from... But like what they eat and stuff like that, how to take, how I take care of them, and stuff like that. So, I'll pro that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing. But yeah, that actually is what I'm gonna end up doing. That's gonna be a bit of a shorter version of this video. That's gonna be shorter. So um, yeah, that, yeah, that pretty much concludes it. Oh yeah, and I'm going to be shaving my beard on the thirtieth. So that's what Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. But, um, yeah. So that pretty much ends this video. Oh, you're so cute. That ends this video pretty much. So, um, until next time, guys. Peace.